Hey, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be continue working with charts in Looker Studio. And in this video, you will be able to see how to create pie chart. So let's first remove this bar chart that we previously created. And let's click on add a chart. In this pie section, I have two options, pie chart and donut chart. And for you, it's important to know the difference between those two. And basically the difference is only how these charts look. I'm going to create pie chart. And then let me add donut chart. Okay, if I add the same value, so I will add region in this dimension box and I'm going to add sales in metric. Here I'm going to do the same. So let's find region, place it here in dimension and metric will be sale. Excellent. Now, as you can see, the only difference between those two charts, their appearance, so basically you can pick it based on your preference. Excellent. Let me change something with these charts. Let's see what options we have. We still have this drill down option. I'm not going to add that now, but you will be able also to drill down to some other categories if needed. Again, you can sort your data. You can provide default date range, filter and cross filtering. So for example, if I click on this, I will filter everything else. So now we have only North America. So that's how you can use your cross filtering. Let's click on style. Let's see what options we have with this chart. We have also that show title option. So we can provide specific title for this chart and we can choose how many slices we would like to present in this chart. We have only three, but if I click on two, we will be able to see only two of them. Excellent. I'm going to leave this as it was previously and now let's see this color by option again it's similar what we had previously if i click on single color we can change it slice order and we can change by dimension values you can manage it by changing colors here let's close this and this is important option basically as we previously did for some other charts, we can also change this chart to be donor chart. So if I provide something like that, we will be able again to create donor chart from the pie chart. So you have also that ability, you don't need to go to add a chart and then to choose donor chart, you can specifically change it here. Again, we have labels, legend, background and border and basically that's everything that we previously covered for some other charts. Okay, with this I'm going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching.